What is going on, out of the park baseball fans, baseball fans in general? A happy Friday afternoon to you. It's time for some Friday afternoon playoff baseball. It is the 1993 AL Division Series, as it should have been, with Kevin Kennedy managing. Kevin Kennedy is joining us. He's right here, right there, right above me. Mr. Kennedy, how are you, sir? <laughs> doing okay i'm doing pretty good actually we had some nice weather over the weekend or over the last couple of days felt like a weekend to me with right. nice weather. But now it's going to rain again here in la so i don't know i guess the global warming is, is accurate rich <laughs> i don't know how you doing there i'm doing well i'm doing well i'm excited for this game so you had your off day yesterday kevin you had to you know it's let, let's just yeah. get right to it right it was it's been an unfortunate tough couple of days game one game two you had your off day yesterday. You're back home in Texas in game three. You've had a little time to decompress. You looked over the box scores. How are you feeling heading into game three? I feel I feel good about Roger Pavlik, uh, much like I felt great about Kevin Brown and Kenny Rogers. So I got to believe one of these, my first three starters, um, is going to come up and put some zeros up there and give us a chance to get a lead in this uh, series. We have not had a lead in this series. Nope. And for my text this team that's been unusual in this and even though Toronto's a great team we've, that's been unusual for us yes yeah, so uh it's it's time for the Rangers in particular on offense yeah to step for up. sure yeah so let's, I mean we had one hit right game two we had one hit Juan that's Gonzalez right. home no, run. That's it, it was it, Guzman shut you down uh one hit that solo home run for eight innings and then Ward came in and just locked you right out and in, in yeah that was Stewart tough. that was Stewart's game yeah Yep. Oh, yeah, you're right. Stewart, excuse me. Guzman yeah. pitched well, but not nearly as well as, as Stewart yeah. in Game 2. Yeah, Stewart, Stewart took yeah. care of business in Game 2. All right, so let's take a look at the situation. Again, here it is. It's Game 3 in Texas, back home. You've got Pat Hankin mm -hmm. on the mound for the Blue Jays, and you're going to Roger Pavlik to keep your season alive. Backs are against the wall. So far for the series, you can see who's done what. Uh, Borders is hitting uh, 667, Schofield 500, Molitor 571, Olerud 375, Carter 375. I mean, the, the, the Blue Jays are doing it on both sides, right? They're getting you on offense and they're, yeah. they're locking you down on defense. Meanwhile, you look over here, Canseco, two hits, no RBIs. Franco, two hits, no RBI. Palmer, one hit, no RBI. Gonzalez, just that one lone home run, 143 otherwise. And then he had Diaz, Fry, Hulse, Manny Lee, Palmero, and Rodriguez. No hits at all between yeah, them. Yeah, that's, that's not surprising to me. It's shocking to me, really, because uh, especially Rafi. Rafi had a phenomenal year for us. Um, although the first two months of the season, he was hitting about a buck 90. And uh, I had a talk with him during the season. I said, Rafi, don't let the first. 200 at bats affect the next 450 and after that he he didn't and he ended up hitting 295 i think in the season 297 okay. somewhere in there with 37 home runs and that was his free agent year but uh, yeah as great as toronto's pitching ha is and was um i i am surprised that some of my <clears throat> key hitters haven't even gotten on base or gotten a hit especially rafi so i expect him to show up today with the bat well no time to no time to worry about the past let's go ahead and let's let's let's, let's make this happen right so we let's got, do it let's move forward all right so we're going with uh with 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 you running the show obviously today for the for the rangers and and here's your lineup unless you want to make some changes so here's what we've got we have franco palmero gonzalez Canseco, Palmer, Strange, Rodriguez, Diaz, Hulse. Are you keeping that lineup or are you changing things? Yeah, we're the first seven are the same. I'm just going to put Hulse, uh, left handed hitter, with 290 uh, behind it, uh, Pudge. Okay, and I'm so putting you're Diaz in the nine spot. Okay, so you're moving Hulse up to the eight. So you got Franco, right. Palmero, Gonzalez, Canseco, Palmer, Strange, Rodriguez, Hulse, and Diaz going up against the crafty 19-game winner that year, Pat Hankin. Yeah, Pat had a great fastball, um, threw a high fastball. You know, it's fashionable in today's times that guys are throwing a lot of high fastballs. Well, Pat did that back then in 93, and especially in his uh, Cy Young Award year that he had. 
um, a good overhand curveball to go with it. And my guy, Roger Pavlik, threw in the upper 90s, uh, and he, had, he just had a great arm, a lot of movement, and uh, good breaking stuff, good curveball, good slider. And he had a, he had a pretty good year. His, unfortunately, his career got shortened because of a shoulder injury. Mm. And uh, I believe that the year 93 was his best year overall. It's hard to top 19-9 with a 3.87. Now, you had asked earlier, right before we started, about sort of the, uh, you know, the 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 stamina situation for yeah. your guys. Now, Kevin Brown, who pitched in game one, is uh, is tired, right? But he's in the yellow, so he could, if he needed him for a bat or two, for a couple of bats, he'd be fine. Same thing with Nolan Ryan. Um, Lee Brandt and Rogers are pretty much off limits. Uh, Pavlik's obviously starting, and the rest of your bullpen is completely fresh and ready to go. Okay, so no one looks like the guy that uh, my long guy that's the freshest, right? But uh, so if I wanted to use Kenny for an out because it's his throw day, it would be normally be his throw day. Um, would would that burn me in a tough situation, like say in the seventh inning or something? You know, I think when he's when he's in the red, you know, anything more than maybe one he's, at bat, right? You could probably bring him in for a tough lefty and you'll be okay, but I wouldn't leave him okay. in for more than that. Plus, we have a bunch okay. of really smart out-of-the-park baseball fans in the chat as well who I'm sure have some advice for you on that stage as well, so I'll let you know what they say. So I look to I look to our friends out there and to, to say, uh, you know, if, if Rogers... If uh, if it's the eighth inning of a tie game and there's a tough lefty, could he bring Kenny Rogers in there, and would that have dire circumstances for the rest of the series? Because this is a this is an all hands on deck kind of a game, right? It's backs against the wall well, and two nothing. It is because I really have five starters on this roster, you know, including Ryan and Lee Brandt. Of course, Lee Brandt threw a lot the other day. I probably right. would Tim, and he's in the red. Um, but Kevin Brown. Uh, has had a lot of time off and even though he threw 105 pitches or a little over 100 pitches uh I, if i needed him for a ground ball in a key situation i i would like to use him but um I, if it's going to kill me according to the game i don't i, I don't want to do that either right so. right uh, well all right are you ready to ready to let's play do ball? It. let's try right. it yeah let's, let's go see if Pavel can put a zero up there in the first <laughs> so. all right so here we are in, uh, now this would have taken place. Where were you playing in '93? You weren't at. Uh, at this the... was the old. Yeah, this was the old uh, stadium. Okay. Which was originally a minor league stadium that they, when they got baseball in Texas, in Arlington, they made it into a you know major league uh, capabilities. And then the next year in '94 is when we opened what was then named the ballpark in Arlington. That was right. the first year uh, in '94 for that ballpark. So this was the old ballpark. Um, that we that we played in and here is the lineup for the blue jays they've got ricky henderson devin white and paul molitor then they got carter olerud and alomar and then fernandez sprague and borders and this is the same lineup used in game three of the alcs in 1993 and the same third game three starting pitcher so we feel really good about uh, about having this be a, a complete representation of the Blue Jays. So, all right, Roger Pavlik is on the mound. He's got to save your season, Kevin. You're, the, the, you know, we're we're looking. The, the the cameras are focused right on you in the dugout. They're they're watching you already. <laughs> so Ricky He's Henderson still... is up. You bringing anybody in? You're playing him straight up to start. No, we're just playing straight up. All right, here is Ricky Henderson. He gets to a 3-2 count to start off right off the bat. Pavlik was 12-6 in uh, 1993, a good season. And he strikes out Ricky Henderson swinging to lead off the game. Now, by the way, just as an aside, we did this in Game 2. For Game 3, we're going at bat by at bat until... The Rangers have someone on base because Kevin is particularly, right. you know, in, intent on making sure that he moves his guys around the bases at the right count. So we're going to go pitch by pitch whenever the Rangers are on offense and they have someone on uh, on the bases. Right. OK. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I manage. So, yeah, yep. it's important. So here's Devin White, center fielder. Same question. You pitch him straight up. You're bringing somebody in. He's, he can he Straight can up. Okay. He's been straight up, yep. Uh-oh. Three-nothing pitch. Pavlik walks him on four pitches. Mm. Devin White is not the guy you want on first base, right? 
He can move. No, no, because he could run. He could steal a base. Got a tough hitter up here in Malta. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw over to first base right okay. away. We're gonna throw to first. And he dives in safe. And here's Molitor, who not only hit 332 for the season with 22 home runs and 111 RBIs, but he's also hitting a healthy 571 in the ALDS, too. <laughs> Holy yeah, mackerel. He's got to be hitting third. Yeah. Let's, right. uh, let's just go ahead and pitch now. All right. You're going to hold White, though, obviously, right? Oh, definitely. We're yeah. holding him on. Yeah, All right. absolutely. All right. 1-1 one, one pitch to Molitor, and he hits it. That looks like that's going to be in the left center, but will be caught. Two outs. Another good out there for, for Pavlik. A little and bit of hang time on that one for Hulst to get to. Right. There you go. And here is Joe Carter, the cleanup hitter, hitting 375 with a home run and three RBI in the series. Um, Devin yeah. White on first. You want to throw back over there? Yeah, I want to throw over one time again. Okay. Very good. Very good. And then I'm going to go right at Carter. All right. 1-1 one, one pitch to Carter, and he rips it over to short. Throw to second. That is the inning. So that is the that's the first inning that you needed there, Kevin. But now. <laughs> no doubt. Now your bat's got to come alive. This is their, their home, home cooking. The crowd is, is, is stomping. When, how long had it been? I mean, when you took over the Rangers in 93, they hadn't been in the playoffs for a long time, right? They had never won. They had never uh, been in the playoffs, so, ever. So this home crowd being treated to the playoffs for the first time in franchise history, yeah. my goodness, it must have been, been a pretty wild wild scene here right now. Yeah, the crowd, I mean, they, we had a lot of sellouts that year because mm. we had a good year, especially right. in the post-All-Star break. So, yeah, this would have been a sellout. Great fans there. They love they love baseball. Obviously, it's a football town with the Cowboys. But sure. if you, as I was told by Paul Merrill uh, in, early in the season, he said, Kevin, if we're in it in August, he said the fans will come out. If we're not, they're going to go to the Cowboys and uh, pay attention to them. But fortunately, we were in it in August, and the fans were – they showed up. Interesting. You know, big time. Yeah. All yeah, right, through. so here's your leadoff guy, Julio Franco, again, leading off for the second straight game. You uh, just swinging away with him? Swinging away. All right, here's Julio Franco. 0-1 pitch from Hankin. Again, 19-9, 3-8-7, his – First start of the postseason, and Joe Carter leads off with a base hit by a diving third baseman in Toronto. Who's who's the third base? Is Mahler's the DH? So Ed Sprague dives, but Sprague. is not able to make the play. Yeah. yeah All right, so start. we're going we're going pitch by pitch here. We're going pitch by pitch, and Julio did steal nine bases, but we're going to let Palmero try to use that hole on the right side, or even get one up in the air. How right field. Ball, you, ball carried pretty well that year to right field. How often did you have Rafael Palmero in this number two spot that year? A lot. Okay. A lot. Okay. Yeah, I think the start of the season in the two spot, and then eventually uh, when he got hot, I moved him in the three spot, especially when Conseco uh, went down. I had Palmero in the three spot and Juan Gonzalez in the four spot a lot okay. post-All-Star break. But first, first couple of months, he was in the two spot a lot. All right. So he swings and misses at uh... – at the first pitch, 0-1 count. Okay. Hankin delivers second pitch, foul ball. So it's now 0-2. All right. 0-2 Move to Palmer. Not, not going to run here in case uh, Cito pitches out 0-2. Maury Wills used to tell me the way to stop a base runner from stealing is strike one, strike two. So mm. that's what we got here. Palmero swings on the third pitch and flies out to center. One out. Mm. Franco's still on first. And here Sorry. is Juan Gonzalez. Yeah, no action here with Franco. See if one can get a hold of one. All right. 46 homers, 118 RBIs for Juan Gon. He takes ball one. 1-0 one -oh count. Here's the first or the second pitch. It's one and one. So one and one to Gonzalez. One and two now. So two strikes, one ball. Still swinging away. Bring it away. All right. Here's the pitch. Foul ball. Still one and two. All right. That is a ball. Two and two. Now, this is the running count, right, Kevin? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to put him in motion. All right. You're right going to hit and run, steal, or run and run, hit? No, it's a run and hit. Run and it's hit. A run and hit. Okay. Yeah. So the run and hit is on with a 2 2 count, and it is a foul ball. Same thing. Okay, now now I'm not going to do it. Okay, just they swinging away. Over a couple of times. Yeah. All right. All right. It's a full count, Kevin. 
Full count. He's in motion. Run yep. and hit. Full count. Here is the pitch. The runner is moving. It's a strikeout. He does get to second, however. So Franco is credited with the steal. He's on second with two outs and Jose Canseco at the plate. Okay. Let Jose try to drive him in. All right. Here That's what is... we did a lot. A lot of stolen bases on those counts. A lot of running hit plays. All right. So he takes strike one. Oh, and one. All right, now one and one to Jose. 15 pitches for Hankin through two-thirds of an inning so far. 1-1 one, one pitch, swinging, strike two, one and two. Canseco is swinging on the one-two count. He grounds over to third, and that will end the first inning. So no runs, a hit, one man left on base. After one, it's nothing-nothing. Okay. Well, at least we got into our running game that a man in scoring position. So yep. that's what we got to do every inning. Yep. All right. So now it's Olerud, Alomar, and Fernandez against Pavlik, who threw 16 pitches in the first inning. <clears throat> 2 on one pitch to Olerud. Olerud fly ball to center field. That is going to <clears> – <throat> that is going to be – I believe it's caught. No, it is – it falls in for a single. <clears throat> it was uh, in no man's land. So Olerud bloops – a single and there is one on and nobody out for Dean uh, excuse me for Robbie Alomar okay I'd, I'd play Paul Merrill right behind Olerud okay with Robbie up there and all right. right behind the plate all right so Alomar takes a 3-0 count and now it's a walk and now there's some trouble brewing here this is first and second nobody out and Tony Fernandez at the plate Okay, Fernandez, it's a possible bunt here, so I have to play the corners, uh, you know, up. You take and bring in third base in or first in or both? Uh, both of them. you got to expect a bunt here. Okay, the corners. Tony Fernandez, even though it's the bottom of the order coming up. All right. The uh, infield depth, at second and short would be double play depth. Okay. Corners in, <clears throat> double play depth. There we go. Here's the pitch. Fernandez turns on one. Oh, my. That is going to be a double, at least, maybe a triple. That is a two-run triple for Tony Fernandez. My goodness. It is a bad start to the second inning. Once again, yeah, falling tough. behind early, and now there's a man on third with nobody out. Yeah, we got to play uh, infield in. All right, infield in. The way we're not hitting, we can't give up anymore. All right. All right, infield in. strike out here. Ed Sprague at the plate. 2-2 two -two pitch. And there's your strikeout, Kevin. Okay. That's one strikeout. Now it's Borders. Borders. Same thing. Got to play infield in with one out. Infield in, one out. Pat Borders at the plate. 1-0 count. He drives it. That's a base hit to left. That's going to score another run. It's 3-0 Blue Jays, the relentless Blue Jays. Absolutely relentless. And here is Ricky Henderson. One out. Borders at first. Did, uh, play behind Borders. Okay. Let's give Rafi a little bit more range. All right. Here's a 3-2 pitch from Pavlik. That will be caught. Fly out to right field. Two outs. Devin White. Two outs. Man on first. Yeah, keep Rafi behind him. Okay. At first base. 3-2 count to White, and he strikes out looking. So it wasn't a complete disaster, but it was a tough second inning, 3 nothing. the Rangers. Yeah. Again, we keep saying it, but my gosh, the Rangers got to start hitting. They keep uh, putting up crooked numbers. That's, oh, not, that's not good. My goodness. All right, here's Dean Palmer. Dean Palmer takes a 2 nothing pitch from Hankin. And he hits it out to center. That is a fly ball. One out on a 2-0 pitch. Here's Doug Strange, second base. 1-0 pitch to Strange. He's swinging on that count. That is a fly ball out to short center, but that is caught by the short uh, by the shortstop. Two outs. Oh, and two, uh, excuse me. Two outs, nobody on. Ivan Rodriguez. Pudge is up. Pudge is swinging on the first pitch. 
That's a little squibber down the line. The pitcher runs over, but Pudge beats it out. Sneaky speed for a catcher with uh, Ivan yeah, Rodriguez. He, he had good speed. He could have played shortstop. That's how agile he was. Um, so. so here's the lefty, David Hulse, in the eighth spot. You put him here exactly for this purpose, right? To yeah, keep him I out did. of the ninth. You Find do a it. gap. We're going pitch by pitch here now, right? So yeah. Rodriguez on first. Excuse me. Yeah, Rodriguez on first. Here's the first pitch to Hulse. Swings and misses. 0-1. Oh the next pitch is a ball. 1-1. One and one. Third pitch. That is hit down to shortstop. Man, once again, a, a scoreless inning. This is frustrating. All right. O for series. Hulse is over series. My goodness. This is this is very difficult. <laughs> All right. Roger Pavlik, he's got to step it up. 47 pitches, three hits, three runs. He's got Molitor, Carter, and Olerud. He's got his work cut out for him here. And Molitor starts off with a full count and then rips it once again. It's a gapper. He's going to get at least two. He might even go for three here. He doesn't have a lot of speed, though, but he's still gunning for third, and he is going to be out, I think. He is thrown out. He makes the first out at third base. A cardinal wow. sin in baseball. Paul Molitor is not the guy that you would expect to make a base no, runner like surprise. that. That's a Good relay by Strange. He was a third baseman also, so he had a really strong arm accurate on boy that we could look back on that that wind up being a big play he would have been on second with nobody out for joe carter for sure so now here's carter with the 2-2 pitch now he will strike out looking two outs now john olerud at the plate hitting 444 for the series and 360 something for the season incredibly tough left-hander 1-0 pitch to him and he will That'll be a base hit. That'll drop in the left field. That would have easily scored Molitor. So definitely, yeah. definitely uh, a costly, costly error there. Base running mistake. All right. So here's Robbie Alomar with Olerud play, on uh, first. Yeah, play Rafi behind uh, Olerud again with the lefty up. All right. 2-2 two, two count. And that is a fly ball that looks like that's going to get caught. And it is caught. So desperately needed that. No runs across that inning it's uh, three nothing heading into the bottom of the third the bottom of your order up fernandez uh, excuse me the uh the ninth, Mario diaz. ninth diaz and then franco and palmero so here's diaz yeah. uh diaz swings and misses on three pitches that's unfortunate all right so here's julio franco he is relatively speaking had a good series hitting 333 and a stolen base but has not come around the score yet. Here's a full count to Franco, and he strikes out swinging. Oh, wow. frustrating. Here's there Rafael he Palmero. Yeah. He's got an 0-2 count. And he steps into one, but that is just got under that one, and that is going to be an out. Three outs through, and we're through three, and it's 3 nothing. Oh, boy, you are pacing the dugout right now, Kevin. You are just wondering when is that worm going to turn, right? Yeah, I'm really I'm really surprised at, at Rafi being over series and Hulse. So. All right, Roger Pavlik starting the fourth inning. Fernandez had a triple in the first uh, or in his last at-bat, but he grounds out the first. One out. Here's Sprague. Sprague is up with a three and one count, and that is a walk. That's the third walk for Pavlik. Pavlik's at 71 pitches now here in the fourth inning with one out. He's still yeah. fine, but that's a lot of pitches. Yep. All right, so you got uh, Sprague at first and, and Borders at the plate. You doing anything here? Double play depth, I presume? Uh, yeah, double play depth, and we'll play Rafael Camaro behind at Sprague. Not holding him on. All right, Borders, grounds, play is made. By the pitcher, throws to second, gets the lead runner. Two outs. Okay. Man on first for Ricky Henderson. 3-2 count to Henderson, who had that tiny strike zone, and he gets struck out looking. So, again, a tough second, but first, third, and fourth are scoreless for Pavlik, giving you all he's got. 
And now, once again, we keep saying it's time for the Rangers at bats to do something. Here's Gonzalez against Henkin. 3 nothing Blue Jays. Bottom of the fourth. And there is... That's going to get down. That's going to be at least two all the way to the wall. Gonzalez with a leadoff double. That's okay. what you needed. That's definitely Absolutely. what you needed. All right, so we flip it to pitch by pitch now. All right. Canseco at the plate. Here's the first pitch. Ball one. Next pitch. Ball two. 2-0 two -oh count now. Doing anything here? No, no. Just swing away. All right. Uh-oh. 3-0 -oh count. You want to take a pitch just to force him? No, I, I give him the green light all the time. My right. first best fastball he, he'd see to hit out. Canseco has the green light called strike. Strike one. 3-1 pitch, called strike two. So now it's a full count. A full count to Conseco. Okay. Here is the 3-2 pitch. That is a ground ball to short that will at least move the runner over. So we got, you know, not the worst possible out, I suppose. Man on third. Gonzalez, who doesn't have good speed, but, you know, should be able to score on a well-hit ball. Dean Palmer at the plate. Palmer really needs to do something in this series. Yeah, no RBI. big time. All right, here's the first pitch to Palmer. That is a foul ball. Second pitch is a called strike. It's 0-2 now to Palmer. Next pitch, ball one. One and two count. Next pitch, ball two. Two and two now. So a little bit of a better spot for Palmer here. Man on third. We have got to get this run in. Absolutely have to get this run in. All right, now it's a full count. Full count. Man on third, one out for Dean Palmer. Here's the pitch. Foul ball. Once again, a full count pitch. Another foul ball. And it's a walk. First and third, one out, Kevin. Things are happening here. Good at bat. You battled him pretty hard, being down. So here's the switch hitting Doug Strange, who's going to hit from the left side here. First and third. Anything happening right now? No. Okay. Swing away. He's got a hole over there on the right side. All right. Here's Strange. That is strike one. It's called strike. Here's the next pitch. It's a foul ball. 0 and 2 count to Strange here. Mm -hmm. Of course, there was an 0, 2, 0 and 2 count to Palmer, and he wound up working out that uh, base on balls. Here's the pitch. That is a ground ball down to third, and it gets by the third baseman. That's going to be a single. That's going to score a run. Make that a double. Oh, no, and it looks like Gonzalez is coming in to score as well. It's safe. It is a two-run double for Doug Strange. Look at that. All of a sudden, wow. Kevin Kennedy, it's 3-2, a man on wow. second and one out. So a double and looks like some trouble in the outfield there. Scores two. And here's Ivan Rodriguez up, man on second and one out. That's huge right there, getting back in the game. Boy, you mentioned that good at bat by Palmer, and then on an 0-2 yeah. count, Strange gets it down the line. Okay. So here's the first pitch to Rodriguez. That is ball one, 1-0. One oh. All right, it's 2-0. Oh. Henkin is starting to perhaps come unglued here. He's at 58 pitches right now. Yeah, a lot of pitches this inning. 2-1 and one count now. Doing anything on 2-1? and one? No. Okay. Try to grab the run in. Here's the next pitch. That is grounded down to third. The runner will not advance. Over to first. Two outs. So here's David Hulse once again up with two outs and a man in scoring position. Looking for his first hit. Looking for his first hit. Ball one. One and oh. And there is a little ground ball over to the pitcher. Pitcher makes the play and that's it. Hulse continues to be hitless for the series. Mm. Wow. But it's 3-2 now. There is life. There are signs of life in the Rangers' dugout. Pavlik walking back out to the mound is told by Kevin Kennedy, get all, <laughs> no runs on this inning, Roger. Yeah, I need a quick inning here. Put a zero up there. Get 79 up. pitches, by the way, for Pavlik. Are you yeah. thinking about warming Come anyone on. up yet? Yeah, I, I, I think I should get, uh, I guess I've got to get Nolan up. 
Nolan and uh, Bohannon. Let's get them both up. Bohannon hasn't made an appearance yet, so get them both up. All right, Nolan uh, Ryan right. is warming up, as is Brian Bohannon. All right. And at that is Devin White. 0-2 count to White. Strikeout. That's the way to start it. Here's Paul okay. Molitor up. Molitor hitting 556 for the series. Wow. Hmm. One two pitch to Molitor, and he rips it. Another hit for Molitor. My goodness. Into <laughs> left field. He is on first with one out. Whew, here's Joe Carter. We're going double play depth here. Yeah, double oh. play depth. I said pitch around. Didn't mean to do that, but he struck him out anyway. There you go. Oh, cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, two outs, we'll man it. on first. I clicked the wrong button, but that's okay. All right. And let's, uh, let's throw over to first real quick on uh, Molitor. All right, there's the throw to first. Keeping Molitor, keeping him honest. Let's double up on him. Do it again. All right. Keep old Rude waiting. Yep. No booze coming from the crowd here. They're perfectly fine with that. All okay, right. let's pitch to him now. Here's the pitch. It's a 2-2 two -two count, and he rips it. That's going to be a base hit. Rip to right field. The runner will go to third. It'll be first and third with two outs. Runner just gets in front of, of the uh, throw by Canseco. Got Alomar. How's uh, his, his, uh in this game? What's he got, 97? He is at uh, 97 pitches for Roger Pavlik. Okay, I got I to gotta let him face Alomar. All right. Two outs, first and third. This is clearly a pivotal moment, pivotal moment of this series. Here it is. Here's the pitch. Alomar digs in. He hits a high fly ball to left field. They're going back, going back, and he makes the catch. Whew. That's the inning, folks. Through four, wow. it's three, two. Through four and a half, excuse me. Three, two. Here are the Rangers coming up in the bottom. Of the fifth, down by one run. Here's Mario Diaz to lead off. Wait, let's uh, let's make a move here. All right. Let's uh, let's get Chris James up uh, for Diaz. All right, Chris James is coming in for Diaz. Chris James at the plate. This is his first plate appearance of the series, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, it is. All right. He's swinging away. Yep. Full count to James, and he hits it add to looks like a little bit of right center field, but high enough in the air to let the uh, the fleet-footed Devin White get over there. One out. We have Nolan still up, right, and uh, Bohannon. Yeah, you do. I want them both ready. Okay. Yep, they are both listed as ready. Okay. All right. Here's Julio Franco. 1-0 count to Franco, and he will hit it to uh, high lazy fly ball to right field. That's caught two outs. And now here's Rafael Palmero. I'm feeling like this is the spot, Kevin. This Time is to where go he deep. gets one. Yep, this yeah. is where he gets one. It's a 2-0 -well count. Sure. That's the count. Oh, he grounds it down to pass first base. That will be a base hit. Palmero will slide into second base with a two-out double. So there's his first hit. Not quite what we wanted, but good enough. Good enough. Here's yeah. Gonzalez. Now, Hankin is at 73 pitches, so you're definitely making him work. It's the bottom of the fifth, two outs, and Juan Gonzalez at the plate. Swinging away, Juan gone. One, two count. Ah! Strikes him out. Mm. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right, three, two after five. So now you got some okay. defensive moves to make. Manny Lee goes to short. All right, Manny Lee slides into the shortstop position. And what's the order coming up here for them? You got Fernandez, Sprague, and Borders. Switch hitter, righty, righty. Okay. Uh, obviously keeping Pavlik out there. Kind of hitter to hitter right now. Just okay. Just start getting tired. All right. So here is Fernandez. Top of the sixth. Nobody at 1-0 pitch to Fernandez. He grounds it to first base when the play is bobbled. Unfortunately, Palmero can't handle it. Man on first with nobody out on the error. Got to hold him on, and uh, we're going to let Pavlik pitch to uh, Sprague here. Looking for a double play. 
All right, so we're going double play depth. Mm -hmm. All right, double play depth to Sprague. Here is the pitch. The runner is not moving. The snap throw back to first by Rodriguez does not get him. All right. You get that a lot. You love to throw to behind the runner a lot. Sprague will lift a base hit into left first and second. Nobody out. Is that it for Pavlik? Yeah, that's that's it. I'm gonna bring. Uh, I'm gonna go with the 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 big guy, Nolan. All right, now Nolan yeah. is tired, so he doesn't have a whole lot. He can. What's go... he got? Has he got enough for a couple of outs? He's got enough for a couple of outs. Okay. All right, so here is Nolan Ryan. We're playing double play depth, I presume here. Uh, with borders, yeah. Okay. Uh, actually, you know, he could bunt here. Got to play Dean Palmer up a little bit. Okay. Uh, even with the bag and. Uh, All right. I'll leave Palmero there. Okay. All right. Nolan Ryan trying to keep his Rangers alive, trying to keep his career alive. That is a ground ball down the short, over to second for one, over to first for two. There's a double play. Okay. Now, Tony Fernandez on third, two outs, Nolan Ryan pitching, Ricky Henderson at the plate. That's huge. Uh, yeah, Nolan's still okay, right? Yep, he's still okay. Okay. Here we go. All right. Pitching to him. Full count to Ricky Henderson. He walks. All right. All right. Here's Devin White, the lefty. Do you want to bring him by hand into face? Oh, no. He's a switch, switch hitter. Okay. Switch hitter. Uh, but you got uh, you got on deck. You got Molitor on deck. Yep. You got two righties on deck. I'm going to stick with Nolan. By the way, his last pitch was 100 mile an hour. So See if he can strike him out. He's yep. got some gas. All right, here's the pitch. Uh-oh, 2-0 count. Pass ball. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That cannot happen. Pass ball. Pudge didn't do that. No, nope, wow. Pudge didn't do that, but it's a pass ball. It's a 3-0 count. 4-2 now. And Ryan walks white. All right, so okay. Nolan's probably got one more at bat left in him at the most. Okay, I'll let him face Molitor. Here's Molitor. 1-1 one, one count to Molitor. The, everyone's running. Rodriguez does not get the throw to third. White gets second. Henderson gets third. You want to walk Molitor to get the I got to put uh, Molitor on, and I got to have Nolan. As long as he got bullets left, got to have him face Carter. All right. He's throwing 19 pitches. Here it is. And then Bohannon uh, would be coming in next. Oh, my gosh. A 3-2 count, and it is a high fly ball at the center. Oh, no. Grand slam? Grand slam. Good God. Nolan tried. He didn't have it today. No. A grand slam by Joe Carter. And that, folks, opens the floodgates. It's 8-2. to two. So we've got to bring in uh, Brian here now. Yep. Oh, no. That's ugly. That is ugly. Oh, no. Oh, all the Blue Jays fans are just delighted. Bohannon comes in and gives up a long, long fly ball that hits off the top of the <laughs> of the wall. There's a double for John Olerud. Here's Robbie Alomar. Full count to Alomar. And he will walk. Bohannon is not making it happen right now. Here's Tony Fernandez. Let's get uh, Chris Carpenter up. It is all hands on deck, folks. 1-1 one, one pitch to Fernandez, and he will rip a base hit. Now, was the runner going to try to score? He is not going to try to score. Bases loaded, Sprague at the plate. Let's uh, make an appearance to the mound. All right. Does There's... that give Carpenter uh, time? It gives him some time, but he's still listed as warming up. So okay. not quite enough time. All right. Here's the pitch to Sprague. 0-2 count. That is a... Looks like it's popped up and the play is made. All right. So you're down six, <clears throat> heading into the bottom of the six. The bullpen once again. Yep. Oh, once again, just letting you down, Kevin. Again, I feel terrible. It's like Big PTSD time. for you here, man. My goodness gracious. All right, here's Ken Seiko against Hankin. Hankin, 77 pitches, five innings, five hits, two earned, one walk, four strikeouts so far. 
All right, here's a 2-0 pitch. Canseco gets into one. That's going to be extra bases. That is down the line. Looks like he'll get into second easily. He's going for three, and he will slide into third. So there's a leadoff triple for okay. Canseco. Here's Dean Palmer at the plate. Going pitch by pitch. Palmer hits it pretty well to right. That'll score the run, I believe. Here comes the play at the plate. And Canseco looks like he gets in pretty easily and does. So it's 8-3. to three. Nobody on. Okay. One out for Strange. Here is Strange, who had a key double earlier. He, uh, on an 0-2 pitch, will ground out to second. Two outs. Here's is Carpenter the... ready in the bullpen? Carpenter is definitely ready by now. You want okay. me to put him? Okay, can't replace him yet, but he's ready. Okay, just want to be sure. Yep. All right, 2-1 pitch to Rodriguez. Rodriguez hits it high to deep center field, and that is unfortunately caught. All right, one run, one hit, nobody errors. 8-3 in the seventh, and you want Carpenter in there now, right? Going with Carpenter, yeah. All right. All right, so here's Chris Carpenter to face Borders, then Henderson, and then White. Here's a 1-1 pitch to Borders. And he grounds over to short. The play is made and one out. Now that gets us back to the top of the order with uh, Ricky Henderson. 2-2 two -two count to Henderson. He struck out a couple times. He will ground this up to second. The play is made by the pitcher. Not in time or in time? Nope, he got him. Two outs. Henderson almost got there, but just, sure. just shy. And here's Devin White. 2-2 two -two pitch to White. And White will get a... Uh, that's going to be at least two. That's into the corner. That'll be a stand-up double for White. Not what you wanted with Molitor here, who's hitting a clean 600 for the series so far. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put him on, even though Carter Homer last time. All right. So he walks and up steps Joe Carter, hitting 333 with two homers and seven RBI in the series. Two outs, first and second. Uh oh, two one pitch. That's down to short, over to first, and that's it. So still eight three. Bottom of the seventh, the Rangers are down by five. They need runs. They need them now. You've got Hulse, Lee, and Franco slated to come up here. Okay. So here's Hulse, who remains hitless in the entire series. Full count to Hulse. And he finally gets his first hit of the series. That's going to be a double. That goes all the way to the wall. Play is made by White, and he uh, actually it's going to be a triple. A, a second consecutive leadoff triple for David. Okay, Holtz. I got to I'm gonna pinch hit Gary Reedus here for Manny Lee. All right, so here comes Gary Reedus to the plate. Manny Lee will sit. David Hulse at third. We're going pitch by pitch. First pitch, ball one. Ball two. It's now two and zero. Oh. To read us. Called strike two and one. The next pitch, swinging strike two. Two, two count to read us. You want to at least get this run in one way or the other. Mm -hmm. All right, it's a full count. Three and two to Gary Reedus, pinch hitting for Diaz. And he hits it to pretty deep center, so that will score the run. Chipping away. It's going to be eight to four now with one out and nobody on. Okay. And you're at the top of the lineup with Julio Franco. Here's Franco. 0-2 pitch to Franco, and he grounds a uh, weekly. The pitcher picks it up, throws over to the first two outs. Here's Palmero, who got his first hit of the series in his last at bat. Palmero drives it out to left, but right at the left fielder. All right, it's eight to four through seven. We're headed to the top of the eighth. Um, we should probably get someone going to the bullpen, and you need someone to play shortstop. Yeah, I'm going to have – Doug did play short. I looked it up. Uh, he did play short a game or two uh, in 93. So i got to put Strange at short, Jeff Fry at second. 
off All the right. bench. So you're putting Jeff and, uh, Fry at second. Well, hold on. Let me make Strange your shortstop. And then you got Jeff Fry coming in at second. And then uh, I got to get I gotta get Tom Hankey up. That's right. Okay, here's Hankey warming up. All right. Here we go. It is Olerud, Alomar, and Fernandez. They just don't stop. They just do not stop. 2-2 two -two pitch. No. He strikes him out. Olerud strikes out. All right. So now, Robbie Alomar at the plate. Carpenter. Yeah. Is he out of gas right now? Not completely. Now, he's still got a little bit left. You got Hanky okay. warming up. Do you want to visit the mound, maybe? Yeah, I want to visit the mound, give Hanky some time. This is probably be Carpenter's last hitter. Ready? No uh, Hanky is ready now. So if you did want to bring him in, you could. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do that. All right. Carpenter is out. Hanky is in. For Robbie Alomar, here's the pitch. 1-1 one, one count to Alomar, who has walked twice today. He hits a lazy fly ball to right. That is caught. Two outs. And here's Fernandez. 3-1 pitch to Fernandez. He walks. So Sprague is up with Fernandez at first and two away. I got a throw over there. All right, throw to first. All right, here's the pitch. It's one two pitch that is popped up to the shortstop. Okay. All right, bottom of the eighth. You got Gonzalez, Canseco, Palmer. Not much to do here, but just hope they yep. can hit, right? right? To play. All it. right. So Pat Beautiful Hankins bottom. still in the game. He's thrown 106 pitches. He's still out there in the bottom of the eighth. Full count to Gonzalez. And he rips it down the line. That's going to be a base hit. And he will head into second, slides into second with a leadoff double. Okay. Ma and Hankin's still in there. Cito Gaston still sticking with, with Hankin. Here's Ken Seiko. We'll go pitch by pitch here. First pitch is a foul ball. Next pitch is a ball, one and one. Called strike two. It's a one and two count. Canseco strikes out swinging. Oh, no, foul ball. My bad. Sorry. Okay. Still one and two. Here's the one two pitch. And Canseco grounds it over to the shortstop. The runner does not advance. Two outs for Dean Palmer. Again, looking to. Looking to do anything. Two outs can. or one out? One out. Excuse me. One, one out. out. One okay. out. Man on second. Needed to get that runner over. He's swinging away. Ball one, one and oh. The next pitch, that is going to be a base hit. And that looks like that'll, nope, it will not score the run, but first and third with one out now for okay. Doug Strange. And let him, let him go. Better okay. Drive another run in. And Hankins still in the game, 120 pitches. 0-1 count to Strange foul ball. 0-2 to Strange. Can't have a strikeout here. You've got to have a productive out. He strikes out. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. bad. All right, here's Rodriguez. Come on, Pudge. you got to just give him a chance. you got to give yourselves a chance. There's a strike. 0-1. Second pitch is a ball. 124 pitches for Hankin so far. 1-2 now. On Rodriguez. Here's the one two pitch. Pudge gets he gets some of it, but it doesn't look like it's enough. No, it is a fly ball. Eight four. Mm. That's the end of the inning. That Eight hurt. to four head into the Yeah, that, that did hurt. I thought that, that, that hurt. All right, you still got Henke out there. Are you gonna keep him going? You wanna get somebody oh, yeah. No, he's got it. Just pitch the ninth to finish it. All right. Here's a 2-0 pitch to Borders. Borders grounds right to the second baseman, one out. Here's Ricky Henderson. Looks like he's going to get a, a walk. Yep, he walks on four pitches. Man on first. I think he's getting tired already, huh? He's getting tired. He's going All for right, second. Let's, uh, let's go to the mound, then. 
All right. And I got to get somebody up. I got to right. get. Uh... Oh, boy. <laughs> so there was a stolen base. I'm not sure if you saw that. Uh, Henderson stole, and uh, there was an error. So now he's a third with one out. Um, third with one out, so we got to go infield in. But he's out of gas, right? He's close to out of gas. He's still he's close. All right. Well, I, I got to get somebody up. Yeah. I got to get. Um, yeah. I got to get Oliver and Whiteside up, both of them. All right, Oliver and Whiteside are up. Henderson at third, one out. Hanky's still got something left. He's only thrown 20 pitches, but he's, you know. All right, so here we are. Man on third. Oh, I got to go infield in here. Infield right in, away. okay. Infield in. Here we are. 2-2 two, two count, and he turns on it, and that is a home run. Two-run home run. It doesn't matter who you bring in, Kevin. They're not, they're not doing it. Nope. They're just not doing it for you. That is unfortunate. Yeah. Even my closer. And he pitched in the eighth inning 18 times. He was phenomenal. Yep. All but right. So Oliver and Whiteside are both ready now. Do you want to bring in one of those two guys? Uh, yeah, I'm not going to leave. I mean, we're down six. So um, let's bring in uh, Darren Oliver again. All right. Here's Oliver. Ah, <sighs> boy. Unfortunate. All right. Oliver pitches to Molitor. Two for three for the day. Molitor hits a high fly ball. That'll get tracked down in right field. Two outs. And now here is Joe Carter facing Darren Oliver. 0-1 count to uh, Carter. And that is a fly ball to center field. And we head to the bottom of the ninth, Kevin. And I'm sorry to say it. It's 10-4. to <laughs> Yeah. We need a seven-run ninth. Yeah, that's, so, all you need. that's all you need. Not a lot of managing to do here. Just, yeah. Uh, you exactly. hope and pray as a manager. Exactly. All right, so there is Hulse with a ground ball to second. One out. Here is Jeff Fry. He gets a one-two pitch, and that will be a base hit. Yes, a base hit. A good hitter. 290 lifetime hitter, Jeff Fry. Yep. A great career. He's on first with one out for Julio Franco. Franco has a 2-2 pitch, and he swings and misses, and it is still Pat Hankin 137 pitches deep, going for wow. the complete game. Rafael Palmero at the plate, two outs, bottom of the ninth, 1-2 pitch from Hankin. Palmero drives it well. That is going to be caught, and that is it. Wow. That is it. That was an ugly series. Oof, that was Correct. tough. And you know what, Kevin? As good as that team was of yours in 1993, I kind of have a feeling it was. <laughs> this is not that unrealistic of an outcome, right? That Blue Jays team, what a team. I think we would have played much. I don't think we would have got, got swept yeah. by them. I mean, we swept them in Toronto. That's right. And we, played them, we played them well. But uh, That's right. obviously, we had a great team. I, I think the errors um, surprised me. The, the guys that made the errors, we made two more today. And... The big guys that are capable of hitting great pitching just didn't do it. Especially, you know, yeah. Well, I'm sorry, Kevin. I, I apologize. Right. I, uh, I, I no, was, what to apologize? It was fun. It was not my intention to put you through some uh, some unpleasant games. I mean, you, honestly, you didn't really have a chance to really manage. You know what I mean? Like, you no, know, there wasn't uh, there wasn't much you know going on. I mean, we got a three to two. You know, you don't have much choices. We didn't have much choices in the middle innings. I mean, right. I could have gone to Carpenter there, but if he gives it up, I've got nothing for the final nine outs. So right. it's, it's, that's that's a tough part. Sixth inning, as Joe Torre used to say, is the toughest inning to manage. But the way Hankton was throwing, the way we were not hitting, I don't think it would have made a difference. Yeah. Um, you know, once they took the lead in the six, I don't think it would have made a difference. I mean, well, they just, already had the lead, but once they opened it up, just so, n unfortunately, nothing yeah. went right for you in this series, right? I mean, it's just you know. Well, look at the numbers, Palmero 077. I mean, that's your guy. Yeah. I mean, he went one for five today, but 
if he doesn't hit. And I used to say this about the big guys. If the big guys don't hit, you're not going to win. Yeah. In, in reality, in 95 with Boston, uh, my big guys, Canseco and Movon, went 0 for 26. Mo was 0 for 13 with like eight strikeouts, and Jose was 0 for 13. Mm. That's your three or four hitters. If they don't hit, you're, you're just not going to win. Yep. So, you know. Well, this was the this was the first of several experiments, and the next experiment, hopefully, we have a little more luck with. We're going to do 1993, but we're going to change it. Instead of it being where you are the one and only wild card, we're going to do it as if we had had the current rules. So the the next time we get together, we're going to take the same 1993 Rangers team, but instead of a best of five series, we're going to play the wild card game against. I believe, and I'll, you know, I'll look it up to get it right. I believe it's going to be the Baltimore Orioles that you're going to be facing, but I'm not 100 percent sure. I gotta, I gotta double check that. The, the 93 uh, Orioles were right behind us. That's right. Okay. That's right. So that's a one gamer, right? That's a one gamer, and then hopefully you win that game and you can get some revenge on these Blue Jays, right? Because you know, again, just just like yeah. what would happen, the the wild card winner would face the number one seed, which would be the Blue Jays. I'd love to try that again and, and have the guys show up because I yeah. know they're much better than that, you know. I agree. Uh, yeah, this wasn't a series of real managing. You know, that's no. And these these guys were, they kept us in most games where I really had to manage. That that's what was the fun of it. Uh, I still had fun though. You know, learning this game, I really did. Well, I had a lot of uh, fun. I had a lot of fun with you as well. And and my hope is at least in the next game we get to some spots where you have some real important decisions to make. That would yeah. be that would be nice. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you know, it, it's funny because the one thing that was uh, the most realistic for me was that the middle relief was bad. I said it before the series, and that's exactly what happened in this series. Right. So, even though Hanky gave it up there at the end, you know, normally I wouldn't go for five outs there just to keep right. the game there down four or five runs. I mean, exactly. But that's what you're up against when you open up the game like that. But that was our weakness, no doubt about it. Indeed. That was our, that was our tough spot. So it showed up in the playoffs. And hopefully uh, when we do the one gamer, um, again, it'll be all hands on deck. So I'll yep. be able to manage that game differently. Good. Because, all right. Uh, today, today, yeah. Today I couldn't use, uh, like you said, Rogers was out of gas. Even though it was his throw day, couldn't use him. Really couldn't use Kevin. And uh, yeah, it is what it is, you know. Yeah, I went with a Hall of Famer to try to get out of that inning. And he, he was close, but uh, no one at the end. He's still throwing 100. At the end of the day, they got him. That's so. right. That's right. All right. Well, we will try this again, the 1993 version 2 with the wild card game with Kevin Kennedy okay. live managing the wild fun. card game. We'll give that a go. Thank you, cool. Mr. Kennedy, for joining us. You got um, it. My pleasure, man. We'll Enjoyed try to it. put, we'll put, try to get you into a situation where you can win some games here. That was, that was. Yeah. Tough. Yeah. Yeah. I like, yeah. I like to be able to. I mean, the 93 yeah, Rangers yeah, starting yeah. off against the 93 Blue Jays is kind of a tall order. So, but Kevin, thank you so much for joining us today. And thank you all out of the park baseball. My pleasure, fans. man. I enjoyed